pretty uh, crazy experience. I'd obviously put out about 10 hours before that um, I was potentially stepping away from netball. Um, so to get a phone call from Dan was interesting. He sort of asked, you know, how done are you? <laughs> and um, from there, there was a lot of conversations just around whether I was going to be the right fit. Obviously, huge shoes to fill, replacing um, Desi uh, and her, you know, chasing her dreams with footy, but. I think, you know, I spoke to Dan and I was like, I don't want to come in and try and fill Verity's shoes. I don't think um, anyone will be able to do that. But I think the opportunity and how it came about um, was really exciting and um, I couldn't be happier to be here. Yeah, I'd sort of um, switched off from netball with um, just how everything had sort of panned out and, and moved into sort of the media stuff that I've been doing. And um, I think whenever someone calls you with an opportunity to be involved in a high performance environment, it's it's a relatively easy decision. Obviously, I've left my puppy at home, my family, um, my sister's about to have a baby. So there was obviously some considerations, but um, at the end of the day, being involved in an elite sporting environment and having the chance to go for another premiership and, and be involved in a new club is something that um, yeah I ran towards. Yeah, it's been tough. Um, Dan's a tough customer, which we love. Um, but you know, I think he's got his ways and and really firm beliefs on what he wants to do and I feel like um, it's been really easy to buy into that. I know um, what he wants from the players, I know what he needs from me and um, I think that clarity has been awesome. It's, it's been hard but um, we love it like that. <laughs> No, not at all. I think the reputation outside of the fever environment and looking in is very um, like solid and professional. Um, they run a tight ship and it's been exactly what I thought it would be. And um, you can see why they've been such a successful club over the past however many years. Um, won a premiership in 2022. You can see um, those standards and the expectations and what is required of you as a FIBA athlete. And I think, um, yeah, I'm not surprised at all that they've been successful and um, yeah, no surprises coming into the environment really. It's just getting clarity on my role in the team and um, obviously coming in um, probably playing a little bit of a different position um, and just really slotting into what is already established here. Like I said, it's, um, it is a really established uh, structure and, and set up what Dan and Sarah and um, Gordy and the coaches want to do. Um, they're really firm on so it's just getting my head around that um, really getting connected with the girls I think that's going to be super important um, we're a new group this year a lot of new faces but I think if we can build the connections on and off the court it's going to be really important and that will translate um, so for me it's just about um, yeah inserting myself where I need to be and um, really embracing whatever role I'll have to play in the group Well, firstly, it was getting to wear the green because I think the colour is beautiful. <laughs> um, but I think, yeah, I think um, being involved in a new group of players, there's some names on this list, well, majority of the names on this list are players that I never thought that I would get the opportunity to play with. So um, you've got the best shooter in the world, Janelle, um, and Shanice coming over from Jamaica. I think she's an amazing addition. Fran Williams is killing it on the international stage as is Sunday. Um, so I think what I'm most excited about is um, playing with players like that and seeing where I can sort of slot in. And then the likes of, you know, Alice Jess and Jordan in the mid court. Um, I think they're such an exciting and um, impressive group of players. So I'm just willing to slot, slot in wherever. Well, that they might not know about me. Oh, I'm trying to think of something interesting. I think everyone knows this, but maybe they just know that I play um, guitar and piano, but I actually taught myself how to do that. Something slow, like a ballad or something like that. At the moment, I've been singing Noah Kahan. He's actually playing in Perth in um, a few days time and I'm hoping to get tickets. So if anyone's got any, um, no, something like slow, like a ballad.